Welcome back to another edition of Foodie Friday. This week we're checking out an Ocean City favorite for the past 20 years. Let's go check out Liquid Assets. Liquid Assets in Ocean City is known for their exceptional cheese and charcuterie boards. The director of operations, Guy Bayshore, credits their delicious culinary creations to their relationship with small family-owned farms. I grew to understand the difference in mass-produced as to small production, family-owned cheeses and charcuterie. And, um, and we started it and it's just gone haywire ever since. This is the second time the foodie team has sat down with Guy. The last time we saw him was over the summer at Barrio Taco, another restaurant he runs, where he also stressed the importance of knowing where your food comes from. So this is La Quichera American Prosciutto. The company that was started in the Midwest and everybody told him he couldn't produce prosciutto. The climate wasn't right, he wasn't going to do anything, and he does incredible products. They're quite expensive, yeah. but I think you'll tell you, I mean, if you pick up the ham, you can see the marbling in it, you can see the richness. To prove his culinary theory of quality over quantity, Guy had us try this American delicacy and compare it to a grocery store prosciutto. Even touching them, a completely different yeah, texture. Yeah. Like, you know, with like a store bought one, it's a little bit more rubbery yeah. to me. Yeah. And, but this one like feels, yeah. feels like ham. I will say, the store brought stuff I'm used to is definitely a little bit more upfront. Yeah. This is, this is sort of, if quieter is a way, it's, it's, again, it's a subtler flavor. In addition to the American prosciutto, Guy prepared chicken pate, a few different types of salami, and a variety of cured and freshly smoked chorizo sausages. One of those being Iberico chorizo, which is one of the most sought after hams in the world, according to Guy. And after one bite, I could tell you why. Even though they're, they're all delicious in their yeah, own absolutely. way, but this one just packs a lot more flavor within it. Guy also gathered a variety of accompaniments to pair with the charcuterie, like chestnut honey, pickled onions, and homemade sesame crackers. But it was the honeycomb that Mike combined with the chorizo to have something sweet and savory. The chorizo is smoky fatty, but the honeycomb is obviously sweet, but it's not, it's a very slow kind of sweet. It, it, it doesn't hit you all at once. And what charcuterie without cheese? Mike and I enjoyed a variety of cheeses, ranging from soft and mild to firm and flavorful. I started with the soft triple cream cheese. Right away, like cutting into it, you can just see how creamy it is. Melt in your mouth That's and you bite into close. it. And on the other side of the cheese wheel, Guy gave me a piece of his favorite cheese, bandage draft cheddar. By looking at the cheeses too, like I can see which ones, like this one definitely looks like it's been aged a little longer than the others and firmer, of course. Oh, it's amazing. I could eat that every day. And everything at Liquid Assets was amazing, proving that their method of quality over quantity works to create unique cheese and charcuterie pairings. I always say, everybody wants to have a cheese board. You know, they want to have a cheese board in a restaurant, they want to have a cheese board at their house or whatever, but it really takes a commitment to finding these small artisan products to make them a little bit different than you're going to be able to find, you know, in just your everyday grocery and stuff like that. 